Welcome to video 169 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC drop items script. Okay, make a new C sharp script and call it NPC underscore drop items. The purpose of this script is to allow the NPC to drop items when they die. All right, we'll start with the uh, variables private NPC master, NPC master, public game object, and array items to drop. I'll then put in a coroutine here at the end, and inside of it I'm just going to say I enumerator, pause before drop, pass in game object, item to drop, yield return new, wait for second, 0.05f, item to drop dot set active true, item to drop dot transform dot parent is equal to null, yield return new, wait for second, 0.05f, if item to drop dot get component item master is not equal to null, then item to drop dot get component item master dot call event object throw. So what's going on here? This is going to be, there's going to be another method and that will subscribe to the NPC event die. When the NPC dies, then each item it was carrying, they're all, they might be disabled. Each of them will be, go, will go through this coroutine. So what happens is that the item will be first made active. Its parent will be removed, so it'll just be put out into the world space, which is important so that the player can come and pick it up. Then I give it a bit of time, uh, just a 0 0.05 of a seconds, of a second, just so that the internal scripts of that item, in case it has never been active, have, a, have just a moment to set themselves up. So, you know, the item master script or might be destructible master, or whatever. It gives it a bit of time for all of its own internal references to be established and set up. Uh, and then I just check whether it has an item master script. And if it does, then I call this event object throw. This is quite important. It will prepare that item to make it ready for the player to pick up by automatically, just with the way that, uh, that uh, method works, the, uh, well, the various methods that subscribe to that event object throw the way it works, it'll make that item ready for pickup for the player. So that's why I'm just making use of it. It's not actually throwing the object or anything like that. It's merely dropping on the spot, but it just sets up the item nicely for us so that the player can just come and pick it up. Now in set initial references, I just need NPC master is equal to get component NPC master. All right, so after that, then I'm going to put in the uh, method that calls the coroutine, and that is void drop items. If items to drop dot length is greater than zero for each game object item in items to drop, start coroutine, pause before drop, and pass in item. And I've just put in there a comment, otherwise the event gets fired off before the start method on item master can run. Okay. And that will result in a bunch of errors throwing up. And of course, the event object throw not being able to be called. All right, so let's go up. We don't need a start and update, so let's get rid of those. And in on enable, have set initial references, then npc master dot event npc die plus equal drop items. Okay, so then we don't forget the corresponding unsubscribe in the on disable method npc master dot event npc die minus equal drop items. Okay, so save all of that and our script should be ready to go. And uh, so I'll just jump to Unity, check there are no obvious problems, doesn't look like it. Now I'll attach our new script on. So that was npc drop items. I will give it something to drop, so say size one. Okay, now what should I give it? Uh, perhaps I will give it uh, a duplicate of uh, this uh, rifle here. Yeah, maybe that would do. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just take that, drop it into the enemy golem. Let me just uh, shorten that. Okay, good. And uh, just try and zero out its uh, position. Okay, uh, I think I guess that will do. And then I'll just uh, disable it. Okay, then come back here. Uh, then just attach it on. Okay, and I think that will do. And I'll just, uh, I'll just here, I'll just uh, break the prefab instance. So game object break prefab instance and just apply here. So now it's all belonging to the enemy golem. Hit play. Let's see what happens. All right, fire away. Perfect. There we go. And we can pick it up and we should be able to use it. There we go. So it's just a normal item. Excellent. 
So right, we've progressed pretty far, but we've still got a lot of work to do. So keep on going onwards, and I'll see you in the next video.